The Scofflaw. Weird name, absolutely. But it has a very rich history. That's right, today it is the Scofflaw Cocktail. Now, it's a strange name for a cocktail, but there actually is a reasoning behind it. You see, during the early 1920s, the Boston Herald set out and they put out a contest. They wanted to come up with a term to describe anyone that is engaging in cocktail consumption or alcohol consumption during Prohibition. There were tens of thousands of entries to the contest, but the winner was the term scofflaw. The reason being, they scoffed at the law. There are a lot of different variations I've found in books, online, in videos. Uh, the one consistent thing that just appears in everything is the fact that it has whiskey. Now the type of whiskey varies. Some recipes call for bourbon, some recipes call for Canadian whiskey, like the Savoy cocktail book. However, I am using rye whiskey in this particular cocktail, and uh, it seems fitting. Nice spicy rye whiskey to go along with some of the sweeteners and the citrus in this particular drink. So, let's get busy. Let's make the Scofflaw cocktail. So to start off, we just want to grab a shaker tin, as obviously this is going to be shaken. And like I said, I'm starting off with some rye whiskey. I'm using wild turkey rye. Uh, I have it on hand. I'm using it. And like I said, although bourbon and Canadian whiskey are also used in this cocktail uh, in other variations, the ratios are about the same. So take your pick. It is going to be an ounce and a half of the rye whiskey right into the shaker tin. We're going to follow that up with some dry vermouth. I'm just using your standard martini and Rossi. There's enough going on here. If you want to use a Nolly Prot, go ahead, be my guest. That would be another great way to use that. It's going to be an ounce and a half as well, so we're going to do equal parts of the whiskey and the dry vermouth. After that, it's going to be some grenadine. Grenadine or raspberry syrup can be used in place of grenadine. Uh, that is going to be three quarters of an ounce of grenadine into the mixing tin. The next thing you want to do is we're going to cut the lemon in half. We're going to get some juice from the lemon. It's going to be three quarters of an ounce, which one lemon should get you plenty for three quarters of an ounce. It's generally I get anywhere from an ounce to two ounces out of a lemon. Generally it's an ounce and a half. This particular one is roughly in that range. So three quarter ounces of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, is the way to go. The next thing is going to be to add some crushed ice into the mix. We're going to give this a really nice shake. Okay. So a nice chilled cocktail glass is what we're going to use here. We're going to strain it off. It has a really nice pinkish reddish color. That of course being from the grenadine. Very nice citrusy smell to it. And for a garnish, it's going to be a nice swath of lemon. Just want to take that, kind of express the lemon juices over the top, rub the outside with it, and this will make a really cool garnish inside the cocktail. And this is how you make the scofflaw. Beautiful smell to it. Mm. 
Mm. I like it with the rye. Rye tends to be a little more spicy, you know, seeing as rye is the predominant ingredient in the mash bill for the whiskey. So I think rye is the way to go. If it's a little bit too much for you, you can step it down. A Canadian whiskey or a bourbon might be a little bit smoother. I think there's enough sweet and sour going on in here that it really doesn't need a smoother whiskey. You can actually get away with uh, a little bit of a cheaper whiskey in this drink. It kind of reminds me a little of the Jack Rose cocktail, which I made not too long ago. Very similar ingredients. This, of course, not having apple brandy. Has the whiskey. But if you enjoy this, that could be another great one to check out as well. Another one bites the dust here. In the journey to 100 cocktails during the 100th anniversary of the beginning of Prohibition, I raise a glass because this is going to be a great journey. If you want to follow me along on it, click the subscribe button down below, the bell icon. That way you don't miss any videos that I post throughout the year. So I want to thank you for watching this, and remember that if this idiot can do it, then so can you. Cheers.